Hello friends, welcome. I'm going to start a mini series about view router. So first let's open the terminal and create a new view project and install the view router. So here I'm going to say npm create vid at latest. Okay, give it the name. I'm going to give it a view router name we need to choose the view javascript and now it's very fast with v just a second cd in the view router say npm install and then npm run dev but first i'm going to open the project with the vs code okay so let's open the project with the vs code And now let's run here the npm run dev. So here I'm going to open the project and let's go in the app. I'm going to remove everything here and start from scratch. Okay. Components, hello world, delete. And for the assets, I'm going to delete that. Very good. Here we have the view setup and nothing else. Now let's copy this URL and let's open in the browser here. Okay, we have a blank page. We don't have any error. Console for now. Very good. Now let's go and install the view router. So I'm going to say in here in the terminal npm install view dash router at four for version four. Hit enter. Okay, very good. Now uh, let's go and create add the router here in our app and also we need to create some routes to see how it's going to look first we need to define the components for our route for that we are going to i'm going to, inside the source directory i'm going to create a new directory and i'm going to name it views like in the laravel when we have views and here i'm going to create two files so let's say home dot view and the about about dot view and also i'm going to create one more movies dot view okay and here i'm going to create a v setup and just say here in the h1 uh we are in the about i'm going to say about here save v setup here and say h1 and here we are in the home so let's say home here and the last one is the movies so let's say v setup and just h1 movies here very good save now let's go in the main js here we need to import the create a router from the view router so let's say import the create router from the view router and also i'm going to import the create web history i'm going to use web history if you want you can use the web hash history okay and first i'm going to import the components we need for the routes so let's import the home component which is inside the so let's import from slash views slash home and 
change this for the about and this one for the movie so this is for the movies very good now we have the components we need to define the routes and each route should map to the component we have here so let's create a constant and say routes which is going to be able with an array of objects and each object is going to be a route with the path and the component to load when we navigate to that path so for example here an object with path and I'm going to say here a uh, slash. So when we navigate to the home page, I want to load the component. So let's say component here, home component. So when we navigate to the slash, we are going to load this component. And now let's copy and paste this. And here I'm going to say, when we navigate to the slash about, I want to render the about component. Okay, so when we navigate to the slash about, it's going to load this one. When we navigate here, the home, and now when we navigate to the movies, slash movies, I'm going to load the component. I'm going to say here, load the component movies. Okay, but that is not yet ready so we need to create a constant for router so let's say const router yeah like this which is going to be equal with the create router we have imported from the view router so let's say create router okay here we are going to add an object and i'm going to specify the history to be the create web history we have imported from the view router and we need to add routes here we can say routes which is going to be the routes we created or in javascript 6 we just can say like this and we are okay and then in the here we can say just use the router and let's save let's go to the project and if i refresh uh yeah we don't see anything because we need to go inside the app view and here we need to add the route outlet because right now we have an empty here so let's add router view like this and now here any component match to the url is going to load inside here so let's say here hatch one the i'm going to say the header and the components is going to load after the header and the component so let's go here and as you can see we have header and the home which is the home component now let's navigate to the slash about and you can see so let's copy this it's going to render the about component and the about component has only the h1 with about component now Okay, so now if I paste that in, we see about here because the about component returned this one. And of course, if we navigate now to the movies, we see movies here. Okay, friends, that's it. The intro for this video for the view router. We created the view project, imported the create router and create some routes here create the router with the web history and we say use router and in the app view we added the router outlet so any 
component match to the route will render in here. Okay? I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video because it's going to help the video to rank in the YouTube. So see you in the next one. All the best.